Is it safe to say the blowouts are over with? This football team is going to be in contention? Definitely. You ain't going to see that crap around here anymore. Hello again, everyone. Live from Dakota Field on the campus of North Dakota State University in Fargo, North Dakota. It's the longest standing rivalry in Division II football. The 92nd meeting between the Bison and the Sioux sideline this afternoon from WDAZ in Grand Forks. Dan Kleitz. Dan, your thoughts on today's matchup? Well, I think it'll be interesting to see how this stiff wind down here affects the uh, UND passing game and its kicking game. I think uh, the Sioux are better than the Bison in both those categories. And it'll also be interesting to see if uh, this game is close, uh, what it'll, how it'll turn out, because I think the Sioux have an edge there. They've won a lot of close games this year. He's got it teed up at the 35-yard line. Aaron Oden is the deep back for North Dakota State. To his left is Tony Satter. To his right is Kraus. The kick will come to Oden. This will be at the five-yard line. North Dakota State will have the football. Now across the 15-yard line, an excellent kickoff return. The lineups for today, Atkinson, Illicane, and Faber, Tracy, Crocious, and Meske. An offensive line that averages in the neighborhood of 275. Ryan Owen gets the call at quarterback with Toshner, Lloyd, Johnson, and Crutch going in punt formation now for North Dakota State. Casey Bradley averaging 35.1 yards per punt. Bradley has also been bothered with a kidney problem that he suffered in the Mankato State game. He gets this boot away. It is a good one. A fair catch called for, but then let go at the 38-yard line, and the Bison down it. That formation goes Kurt Otto. Four receivers. It looks like a little dump pass to the near side. It is, and the Bison are there. And the man we've talked about so many times before, Paul Lenz, making the stop for North Dakota three from the 37. The first pass of the game for North Dakota State is complete. This is Len Kretschmann at the 46, and the Bison pick up their first first down of the afternoon via the pass. It, game. to say the least, has been a rocky first year when it comes to breaks. Out of a two tight end formation, Doug Lloyd, big hole. He may score. Lloyd scores. A year ago against the Sioux, and he returns the favor again, and North Dakota State is on the board. That is Lenz and Muckenhern, the veterans up front, Charlie Stock, Byers, Briggs, and Rochelle, the linebackers. Zabel leads the conference in interception. Third down and 11. They mark it now back at the 17-yard line. Otto has three receivers to the right of the formation, and he sprints out that way. The throwback screen, and Charlie Stock on tight end Rusty Agnes. Somebody wants UND is used to coming from behind, and so this is nothing new, and I think some momentum is going back Second to their down side. and nine from the 47-yard line. Owen again on the option. Satter reads this one inside the 40. Another Bison first down at the 35. Five defense. Nose guard checked again to the strong side of the formation. And that's where Owen goes with the football, and he wants to throw it. It's complete to Jeff Johnson. He's out of bounds at the 27. The physical matchup is being won by the Bison. Two tight ends, flanker short side on first down. They'll spot the ball at the 23. Doug Lloyd, shy of the 15. Now the herd uses two wide receivers. They go to Doug Lloyd, breaks a tackle at the five, and pulls his way very close to a first down. The quarterback sneak, the touchdown for North Dakota State. Down and three. The fake toss, the counter inside, the Bison are there. Muck and Hearn, Fleming and formation. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. UND has blocked punts before they get this one. A big play by the Sioux to the outside and falling on the football for a touchdown. Sioux coaching staff felt very good coming into this game today. They didn't want to carry the label of a favorite, but they sure felt good coming into it. And this is Brian Owen, and Owen has first down yardage. And he's into Sioux territory and out of bounds at the 42. Owen sends line. two receivers to the wide side, and now the Bison line up in an unbalanced line to the wide side of the field. Back to the boundary. This is Toshner, and Toshner breaks a tackle inside the 30, and the hurdle will pick up another first option. Wide side of the field. Owen wants to toss it. He's got a receiver, and Kretschmann makes an unbelievable catch. He was well covered in the end zone, but coming up with a great catch is Len Kretschmann, and he just outpositioned Matt Golseth for the football. That that man doesn't bounce to the outside on that. And DeMars' carry, he may have lost Second a yard down or two. and 11 from the 22-yard line. 
Otto to throw, being pressured, and Flint Fleming and Ken Muckenhern are there at the 11 second down, and let's make it eight and a half. This is Satter, Satter across the midfield stripe, and he'll be very close to first down yardage for the four man front and leave the center uncovered. Otto with everybody in the route. It's a draw play to Hoffman and the Bison sniff it out. And now it's going to bring up a fourth down and 14 in a punting situation again for North Dakota. Owen on second down finds a seam and a first down. Down to the 31 yard line. 25 remaining and counting here in the first half. Bison trying to punch one in with two tight ends and a flanker on first down after an Owen carry to the boundary. They go to Lloyd and Lloyd runs over the referee and <laughs> that's why he was looking at the play side at the guard in the tackle. That's his assignment in there. Option by Owen. Has a seam at the 10. He'll score. North Dakota State. This is the most productive offense they have had. Since they faked the toss and they tried the bootleg and as we spoke of the Muckenhurn family. Well, Coach, you got it. You're dominating him 321 right now to 49. Is it physical dominance on the field? No, it's a situation where our players are making plays, getting some good things done for us. We've got to have a good performance the second half. You expect UND to open it up now on you? Absolutely. We've got to get after him. See ya. All right. Dakota State to the wide side of the field. They run it back to the boundary. Owen has a seam at the 15, the 10. He may score. He does. From the 30-yard line, Otto being pressured, loses the football on the turn. So now it's fourth down and five, and the Sioux are going to go for it. Bison with a four-man rush, and Otto being pressured, and he's not going to get it away. Flint Fleming, Ken Muckenhern, and Mark Rochelle all in on quarterback 5-2 defense again for UND. Owen to pass. Down the line, has time to Johnson. First down at the 39. Johnson, who played for Dave Heidi at receivers to the bottom of your screen. Owen with a long count. Option the other way. This is Tosher. He has some running room with the 20 and the 15 and out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Blaine Tosher running into the boundary. And Crutchman's the flanker. Owen on the dive play. The Bison... I think they've got about nine plays in their playbook, and they've only used about five of them today. Most of them between four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. In motion again goes Kretschmann. He's already caught one touchdown pass today. Owen finds a seam and scores his fourth touchdown on the afternoon. Starting to rack up numbers similar to a year ago. It is now 42 to 10, and we've still got... 18 minutes of football left. We'll return with more. We'll return on the second kickoff. It's a loose football. Larson couldn't get it. It's one of the buys and bench. They say they've got it at the 40-yard line. I don't know how many times we have seen a passing game come into Dakota Field and just not do much. The We've Bison heard. always seem to play well against passing teams. We've heard the story so many times before. Tight coverage by Casey Bradley, and the Bison fans are giving the defense a standing ovation on the far side of the field as you see a frustrated Kurt Otto to the sidelines, and the Sue just breaking into 112 yards total offense. Boy, the numbers are fat for the Bison today. I don't care who you are, it is tough to come into Dakota Field and beat the Bison. It's amazing the Mavericks have done it two out of the last four years from Mankato. Simdorn finds a seam, hops across the 50, now to the 40, trying to turn the corner, has an angle, and he's out of bounds at the 25 yard. Four seconds remaining. And that'll do it. North Dakota State for the seventh straight year, and certainly Rocky Hager's biggest victory in his first year comes away with a 42 to 10 decision over the University of North Dakota.